finding voltage regulation by asa method what is asa american standard association or aiee aiee method okay that's the thing okay this is the thing but modified mmf method already we have seen how to find voltage regulation by emf method mmf method is a pf method already three methods we have seen now we are going to see about asa method american standard association method okay we know that it's a this just a, for uh, knowing this thing we should know the mmf method as well as zpf method both the calculations and procedure we should know then only we can do the calculation for this method okay what is voltage regulation voltage regulation equal to no load voltage minus load voltage divided by load voltage okay all our phase quantities i have taken all our phase quantities into 100 that is voltage regulation that is losses divided by loss of drop drop divided by rated voltage into 100 that's the thing so what is the voltage rated voltage rated voltage no load voltage e phase equal all i have taken phase quantity e phase equal to rated load voltage phase quantity v phase plus iera drop plus iaxa area drop that is armature reaction drop plus armature leakage reactance drop in mmf method we won't consider the leakage reactance drop why because leakage reactance is a part of armature reaction drop okay these three things so then what we will find we will find the field current we will find the field current required to produce rated voltage and to overcome iera drop that is if1 and how to find if2 if2 is the thing but the field current, uh, field current not how to find field current required to overcome armature reaction drop which is method if2 so then we will add if1 plus if2 by cosine formula just this thing this is if1 this will be if2 we will add if that we will get if0 okay okay what is the drawback of mmf method this is our mmf method what is the drawback drawback of mmf method we already know that mmf is called optimistic optimistic method why it is called optimistic method it will give the regulation value lesser than the actual value normal value why why the why it because the main reason is that uh, here the magnetic saturation is not taken into account what is meant by magnetic saturation see for field coil there will be two coils will be there one is stator other one is rotor stator is armature and rotor is nothing but field coil to the field coil to the field coil we will give excitation that is dc supply to convert it into magnet it is an electromagnet if you give dc supply to the electromagnet it will convert it into magnet there will be suppose if there is a field coil is there like this thing okay if you give positive supply negative supply if i increase the field current the, the, it will become electromagnet it will flux will increase if i give more and more field current whether, whether the flux will increase continuously no why because magnetic saturation will occur because see you can we can see the occ curve itself when you increase the field current the open circuit current increases linearly after some point what happened this will become saturated this will become saturated this so called occ becomes saturated this is because the flux becomes saturated so that is the main reason okay so this thing is not taken into account in where in mmf method but here in this method modified mmf method or asa method that is also taken into account see that is also taken into account see here if1 is the field current one one field current if2 is another field current this field current is required to produce rated voltage and to overcome armature resistance drop put together if2 is the field current to produce to overcome armature reaction drop apart if i add two things i will get if not okay uh, that is required to produce rated voltage overcome armature resistance drop and to overcome armature reaction drop apart from this thing we had to add an extra bb dash that is if3 i had to add to what the thing due to this magnetic saturation i had to add because magnetic saturation we are we are because we are not considering the magnetic saturation so we have to add bb dash here okay so this is the method okay same mmf method but we should also know the procedure of zpf method also okay what are the data required here what are the data required here see same as that of zpf method what are the data required the zpf method what are the data required oc test data next sc test data third one zpf test data and value of ra per phase this value is known quantity oc test oc test means field current versus open circuit voltage line value we will get the value immediately we will convert it to phase value so that value only phase value means if you start connected network we will divide by root 3 so that's the thing because on rb all the alternators will be star connected only so i am drawing this curve the x axis is field current and y axis is equal to same no load voltage OC open circuit voltage no load phase value phase value okay I am drawing there will be many readings will be there I am drawing a line this is called OCC curve that's the first thing we had to draw okay this is the thing next thing what we had to do 
SC test data not necessary. We are doing the SC test for short circuit rated current. We will short circuit rated current. Already we know that this is overcome to armature reaction. Directly we can take the reading. Here what is the field current? What is the short circuit current? Is short circuit current? What is the field current here? Short circuit current is done for rated current of the alternator. So what is the field current here? That current is taken as IF2. Directly we can take the IF2 current. Directly we can take. So this is the field current required to overcome armature reaction. Drop. That are all already we have discussed in the MMF method itself. Okay, this is the IF2. So we have to find IF1. Next thing is ZPF test. Yes, ZPF test data also required here. Okay, ZPF test data is also required here. I will explain why it is required. Okay, because the MMF method, normal MMF, MMF method, ZPF test data is not required. But here ZPF test data also required. Okay, this thing, first thing what we had to do, we had to draw the, by using this OC test, what we had to do, the X axis field current, Y axis is open circuit voltage, but it is open circuit voltage, this phase value, because here we will do it for, we will get only line value, we have to convert it into phase value, if it depends upon the network, if it is star connected or delta connected like this, we have to immediately convert and we have to draw the OCC characteristics. After drawing this OCC characteristics, what we have to do, okay, immediately what we have to do, we have to draw the air gap line or tangent line. I, we know that how to draw the air gap line. In the linear region, okay, in the linear region, we have to draw a draw a line that line is called air gap line so i am drawing an air gap line this is a linear region it will be straight line like this thing so this is the air gap line okay i am drawing the air gap line this is air gap line so this line is called air gap line or tangent line air gap line this line is very important okay this line is called air gap line line air gap line okay after drawing the air gap line here first we have to find if1 next we have to find if2 then we had uh, add if1 if both are vector quantities by using cosine formula what is cosine formula here i have drawn the circuit for lagging power factor i think you remember this this is equal to phi see this will be 90 90 plus phi means lagging power factor leading power factor means it will be coming like this thing so it will be 90 minus phi that all that will i will explain during the calculations okay so how to find if1 if1 is the field current here it is not ia if one is the field current required to produce only rated voltage only rated voltage that is called if one so what we have to do we know the rated voltage for example rated voltage is 4 voltage 4 voltage is face value it's not lying only face value because in the x-axis i have taken the face value so i have to take this rated voltage v phase that value i have to take into account this v phase this is not clear so i will draw a black color i will take it so it will be visible to you. So this is V phase. Let us consider this is V phase. Okay. Then what we have to do? I have to measure this value from Y axis to this air gap line. See, so far we will measure from OCC. Always we will see in the OEMF method, MMF method, ZPF method. Always I am trying to say OCC, OCC. Here it is not like so. We have to measure the length of V phase. This is this current is called IF1 because this is parallel to field current. So this is we have to measure in centimeter and we have to converting we have to multiply on this guy x axis one centimeter scale multiply by scale i have to find this value this length is called if1 this length is called if1 okay this length is called if1 but what is the thing this field current required to produce rated voltage because this is going saturating is going to saturation actually it has to go like this thing only wire gap line if there is no saturation so that only we are going for this thing actually the line if it is a linear thing like this it has to go but it is going like this due to magnetic saturation so we have to measure only this field current if1 this is the field current if1 okay this field current and what is if2 if2 is the field current required to produce field current required to produce this thing rated voltage during circuit time that's the thing directly we can take the data that value is nothing but to overcome armature reaction this is nothing but overcome armature reaction this is if2 okay now to add if and if2 i think we will know the formula i will remove all those things but the formula how to add if and if2 if not equal to if not equal to root of if1 square plus if2 square minus 2 IF1 IF2 into cos of angle between these two things if I for 90 plus or minus 5 for plus for lagging here I have taken lagging minus for leading okay minus means it will come like this so 90 minus 5 this is the formula this is cosine formula okay so IF not this method MMM method we have seen this formula only so it is 
this is to, because we here we know the value of if1 this is the value of if1 this is actually this is x axis only so this is the value of if1 and if2 directly we, this is if2 field current required to produce short circuit rated voltage during short circuit test this is if2 directly we had add if1 and if2 so we will get the if0 okay now we got all those things okay this if0 see in mmm method what we will do so from if0 we will go to uh, occ and we will get the e phase value that is the no load voltage but like this we will tell but the thing is that here we have to take into account magnetic saturation field current also we have to take into account which is nothing but b b dash that is if3 so how to calculate if3 for that what we have to do we have to find e1 we have to find E1. What is this E1? E1 equal to, see, I have not already we have calculated. Okay, I have not because this is phase addition. And E1 equal to same thing, root of, that method, method for the ZPF method, I think you remember this thing, which is root of, um, what the V phase cos phi plus IA into RA, the whole square, plus V phase into sin phi, plus or minus IA into XL whole square because XL, why I am putting XL means I am considering only the leakage reactance only I am considering here and the armature resistance because here already we have taken into account which thing that the armature reaction we have already taken into account so E1 equal to V phase, V phase is now known quantity cos phi it will be given 0.85 power factor lagging or like this thing given and IA RA, now IA values armature current, uh, this is a rated current okay uh, all are phase quantities RA per phase quantity RA value is known quantity V phase sin phi cos phi is known quantity sin phi plus for lagging similarly minus for leading phi what is this IA into XL IA into XL how to calculate we should know we, that's for that only we need this ZPF data. ZPF data in the portrait triangle we know how to cal how to find IA in Excel. I think you remember this uh, what's called ZPF test. ZPF test this is the short circuit test value. This is OA. We will draw another point P point. We will this thing you should remember which thing this is ZPF. ZPF curve. Okay then what we will do this is P point and what we will do this is uh, I think uh, X point something this is P point we will take only one point we will draw a line same value after this thing this thing you should go for ZPF method then only you can remember this thing P and this is X and we have to draw a parallel line to the tangent line I have to draw a parallel line to the tangent line this is this line I have to draw then I have to join this value this triangle is called portrait triangle. This thing you have to refer the ZPF method. Same thing. So I am going very fast. Okay. Then I had to draw this perpendicular line from this thing. P. I think it is Q. I, I, I forgot all those things. P, Q, R. I think if I put R. This Q, R. Length I have to measure. What is this Q, R length? The Q, R length is nothing but voltage. So this is nothing but IA into XL. This value. IA into XL. This value we had to measure. And I had what I had to do? I had to substitute here IA into XL. Plus for lagging. Plus for lagging. And minus for leading. Leading. Minus for leading. I had to substitute here. This value. This portrait triangle you should know. You have to refer the ZPF method for this thing. How to draw the portrait triangle. Okay. That's the thing. So I had Excel only. I have to take note. And I have to substitute this thing. And I have to find E1. Now we can know the value of E1. Definitely E1 will be greater than V phase value. If our lagging power factor. If a lagging power factor. Definitely V phase will be. E1 will be greater than V phase. For leading power factor. Sometimes it will be more, sometimes it will be less. But lagging power factor definitely E1 will be because we are adding many quantities. For leading power factor, since I am putting minus, there is a possibility of lesser value. Okay. So what I have to do, what the value? So the value will be coming here. This is called E1. Because E1 will be, for example, I have taken V1 is 400 voltage means E1 will be 410, 412, like this it will come. So okay. Now what I have to do, I have to draw a straight line to OCC line. Up to OCC I have to draw draw a line okay i had to draw a straight line from e that e value i have found this thing this is voltage that value i had to draw a straight line here now i have to measure the distance between air gap line and occ line i had to measure the distance between air gap line and occ line this distance i had to measure okay this distance i had to measure this is b and this is b dash this this is equal to x axis this is nothing but a field current 
this is a current because it is x axis that i have to measure that value that value is nothing but this bb does already we know the value of i of not see how to draw the value e not i had to find e1 i had to find from e1 i had to draw a straight line up to a, which thing OCC line, the line, the, the uh, it is from air gap line to OCC line. The distance we have to measure that line is nothing but that saturation BB dash. This BB dash then symbol IF3. This is nothing but IF3. Okay, now what I have to do IF not and IF3 vector I had to add vectorly, not necessary. Why we have to vectorize here because both are in same direction only. Just which addition normal addition is sufficient. I will put IF. Uh, not dash i of not dash equal to i of not i of not just normal addition plus i of 3 i of 3 is nothing but this value this value i have to measure this current this i of 3 normal addition i will get i of not now i will get i of not now what i had to do i had to locate this i of not in the which axis i had to locate the i of not in the x axis this is i f not i had to locate i had to go to which curve i had to directly go to the occ I had to go to the OCC and I had to come here and this value is now OCC I had to come here okay <clears throat> this value is nothing but E phase value that is E phase this value E phase that is no load voltage phase value okay E phase value so what is percentage regulation percentage regulation equal to E phase this value this value because this value minus V phase rated voltage phase value divided by V phase into 100 Okay, the only thing is that we are adding this thing okay for adding this thing we need portier triangle for portier triangle we need is a pf test data because without is a pf test we cannot draw this thing so only we are measuring this thing and we are substituting ia in the excel here that's the thing okay so, so this is ACM method okay this is a modified modified mmf method or american standard association method sometimes they do a e not triple e a e method okay thank you